Mandu. Mickey Mandu. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Today, Reed will be showing my family and I how to make mandu. Mandu is a Korean filled dumpling with meat and vegetables. As a child, Reed remembers helping to fold the mandu with his grandma and aunties as they made this during every New Year. As always, thank you so much for watching and please enjoy. We're going to Palama to buy ingredients for mandu. Palama Supermarket is one of the many Korean markets that we have here in Hawaii. So this is going to be the first time we're making it. I'm not too sure. I got simple directions from my auntie, but we're going to try to figure it out. So I'm going to put my own things in it. Beans from. We make this every New Year's, and instead of hong mochi, we need mandu. Gochujang, it's um, paste made out of chili pepper. You mix it with a little bit of water, it becomes like a hot, spicy dipping sauce. To start, mince approximately six to seven cloves of garlic and dice approximately one stalk of green onions. For this recipe, we added in two pounds of pork and one pound of chicken. However, you can change up the meat choices depending on your liking. Next, approximately chop three cups of Korean parsley. And three cups of bean sprouts. Also remember that these measurements are approximate and should be to your liking. Some people also put mushrooms, cabbage, or even kimchi in their mandu as well. Next, slice up one tray of tofu. Remember that tofu holds a lot of water, so try and take out any excess water before adding it to the rest of the ingredients. four tablespoons of sesame oil. And three tablespoons of shoyu or soy sauce. And of course, we can't forget our salt and pepper to taste. it out to see how it tastes so I'm gonna cook a few. It's a good idea to test a few before deciding to make all of the rest of the dumplings. Um, just in case you decide that you want to add more salt, pepper, or sesame oil, or shoyu. Boil the dumpling and chicken broth until the mandu pea or dumpling wrapper becomes translucent. You're going to take the mandu pea, you're going to put a little bit of the filling in the middle, and with your finger, wet one side of the pea so you can fold it close and it'll stick. Just like this. You can choose to make it any way you want. You can make it like this. Or you can pinch the two ends together and make it look like a one ton. Oh, you mean like a like press So all the women usually would make mandu. My grandmother and my auntie would create the insides and everyone would sit around and they'd fold and it'd end up being like this. And then New Year's we'd all eat it for soup. Or with soup. Oh, they actually you just freeze and then you can take home and throughout the year if you want to eat, just defrost it and you have fresh mandu. Yeah. To end the night, Reed made some yummy mandu soup 
and we sat around eating as a family. It was very delicious. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Reed for showing us how to make one do. It was an awesome day. Happy New Year, everyone! Mm, your soup has good taste. It's not very, it's like a seafood base. Give her that. Give her all that. Get all of it. What they say? Give her all of it. Okay. Ooh, yum. How is the soup, Grandma? How is the soup? It's good. I've been forced to make mandu because I'm Korean. <laughs> <laughs>